Adobe After Effects is a great software for many things, one of which is all of its 2D animation capabilities. 2D animation is slowly becoming, if not already is, a staple in the digital art world, and especially in content creation. There will be no shortage of people needing 2D animation anytime soon. As a result, there's a great number of people wanting to learn this craft, and what better software to use than After Effects? Keep watching to find out our pick for the best 2D animation tutorials on Adobe After Effects. This video tutorial from Motion Nations walks us through the process of making a vector animation in Adobe After Effects. The tutorial is sectioned into seven properly titled parts and each narrated thoroughly from start to finish. Abhishek walks us through each and every step he takes and although the animation he's making is very specific, there are many things you can learn from watching him go through his process in general. You can easily apply all of the steps he takes into making your own animation. The tutorial starts with the creation of a composition and continues all the way through animating the different shapes such as the ball, stairs, the squiggle, and so on and so forth. So. If you plan on making a vector animation in the same style as Abhishek, we highly recommend you check out his video. In this video tutorial, Nijad shows us how we can use Adobe After Effects to animate a character that can be used in explainer videos. This video, unlike the previous one we talked about, doesn't show us how to use After Effects different drawing tools to draw the animated object, but rather shows us how we can animate them using the anchor point tool, selection tool, and how to navigate through different layers and keyframes and so on and so forth. The vector drawing is available for download as well as the project files, allowing you to directly download them and immediately start following the tutorial. This can be a great way for you to learn the ins and outs of animation without having to draw the animation components yourself or spend time looking for them. It's a great way to learn if you're a beginner and a great way to exercise your skills if you are on an intermediate level. So we highly recommend this tutorial if you are in that position. Riley from Chunk introduces us to a revolutionary tool in After Effects, the Shadow Studio 2 plugin, a plugin that helps you make quick and realistic lighting situations. Riley explains how the native equivalent to this plugin in After Effects, Inner Shadow Layer Style, doesn't offer the best results on top of having slow rendering times, which affects the efficiency of a process significantly. For this reason, he shows us how we can use the Shadow Studio 2 to reduce rendering time and get better and more realistic looking results. Riley explains all of the steps he goes through that will help you get a similar result to what he has using the plugin. He also goes into great detail explaining how the plugin works. Riley's video is sectioned to all the different steps, narrated excellently, has correct subtitles, and is concise and straight to the point. Yet another great tutorial on our list today by Nijad. This time around, Nijad shows us how we can animate fire in After Effects, and more specifically, hand-drawn fire, not to be confused with VFX fire. While he uses a pre-made drawing of the wood in the animation, this time around he actually draws the vector of the fire himself, which can be a great way for you to learn how you can use the different drawing tools in After Effects to create a drawing, in addition to the animation itself as well. The tutorial is sectioned into four parts, starting with the introduction, the preparation of the vectors, and the last two parts being the longest and which are the meat and potatoes of the tutorial, showing the creation of the shapes and their animation. If you lack drawing skills but still want to animate something simple, you drew in After Effects of course, this tutorial would be perfect for you. In this video tutorial, Josh explains the entire animation process of cartoon animation in four parts, or four techniques if you will. Josh starts off by showing us where we can get vector files for free and what that entails, and then how we can import them to After Effects and set them up. He then moves on to the animation process itself and the importance of shape layers and how to use them. 
The video tutorial is narrated entirely and sectioned, so you can easily go back to a certain part directly without having to slowly skip through the video to find what you need. This video can be great for beginners to explore After Effects and its potential, but through a video that explains difficult and complex concepts simply and concisely. So we highly recommend you watch this video to introduce yourself to character animation in After Effects and even bookmark it and use it to refresh your knowledge to keep yourself on track. This video tutorial mixes things up a bit. Instead of animating vector drawing in After Effects, Eugene shows us how we can animate a classic painting using a mix of Photoshop and After Effects. This can be a great way to create content for history videos, for instance, but Eugene's tutorial can be benefited from in a number of ways. It can help illustrators who aren't very familiar with animation make the best of their illustration and After Effects motion graphics capabilities in order to make a lively illustration. So we highly recommend this video if you fall into this category. Nijad comes back to us with yet another tutorial on how we can use After Effects to create an explainer video. This time around, we have a back-to-school theme where the animation is of a little girl and her school supplies. As usual, Nijad focuses on the use of After Effects' different animation tools and teaches us how we can use them, as opposed to teaching us how we can make the vector drawings ourselves. So, if either your focus is animation because you're already familiar with the drawing aspect, or if the drawing aspect is not a priority, Nijad's video tutorial can be really helpful for you. Josh comes back to us with another great tutorial where he talks about explainer videos. If explainer videos are something you want to learn more about, this is the video for you. As usual, Josh's video tutorials are concise and straight to the point. He has different parts sectioned with timestamps, making it easier to go back to certain points in the video. The sections of the video are thoughtfully divided. In the first part, Josh talks all about animating objects, and then characters, and lastly, titles or text in general. These three elements are the pillars of an explainer video, so Josh effectively covers all the bases for you and explains them beautifully. We couldn't recommend this video enough if you're interested in this type of content creation. This video tutorial is pretty self-explanatory just from looking at the title. Tim's explanation is easy to follow. He offers an easy way of doing things that allows a complete beginner to comfortably follow along. The tutorial goes into the use of different tools and features, such as anchor point, keyframes, masks, and so on and so forth. This should not only help you learn how to animate a logo, but can also serve as an introduction to After Effects in some way, thanks to Tim's easy to follow approach. This video tutorial from Editing Ninja shows us how we can animate a painting. The concept is identical to the previously mentioned tutorial by Eugene. Camille has a similar approach to Eugene as well. He narrates his steps briefly, speaking about the steps when necessary, and uses time-lapse for the repetitive and mundane parts of the process. The tutorial is, as usual, sectioned into different parts for you to skip or go back if need be. All in all, we highly recommend both of Eugene and Camille's videos if you're interested in this type of content creation, which will teach you how people navigate this animation style and how you can implement that in your own process. And that's it for our video today. We hope you learned something new. Make sure to let us know which tutorial was your favorite or tell us about any great tutorial we missed. With that being said, thank you for watching as always and see you next time.